Life jackets were needed today. Water rescue crews pulled four people from the swollen Raccoon River this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. And I'm Andy Fails. Even experienced boaters are facing river conditions they haven't seen in years. Yeah, shallow and slow moving during the droughts, no longer the case. WHO 13's Elias Johnson joins us now and this fast moving current nearly swept four people away this afternoon, Elias. It certainly did. Janae and Andy, so new information from one of those kayakers we're talking within the last hour claims this was a freak accident involving an anchor on one of the kayaks while they were trying to fish. Either way, if you've gotten into crews in the rivers here in central Iowa, this is a challenging time to be venturing out. We haven't seen levels this high this fast in at least three years. And today that group of four that launched those kayaks in a small John boat learned within minutes of their fateful voyage. They struggled right off the beginning, so we sat and kind of watched it and made sure that they were safe and ended up becoming a bad situation quick, it seems like. They hit the wall of the bridge. Um, and then once they got down a little bit further, we saw one of the boats get, get smaller in it. And the ceilings say once one of those boats uh, took on water, capsized, emergency response was swift. The three women and one man in the group found themselves in trouble, one tangled in a fishing line needing help. And that is when the Van Meter Fire Department's airboat, you see there, came to the rescue. Now all were wearing life jackets, which the DNR officers credit for saving their lives and say the boat and one of the kayaks were unretrievable. The John boat is downstream and we have one kayak still missing. Okay. And like I said, we will get to that when the conditions favor. Uh, we're not gonna put any emergency yeah. personnel at risk today, trying to recover those items. We'll recover those when we can, but we are uh, fortunate that we have four individuals that made it back safely here to shore, um, kind of ended their day in a not so good way, but we are glad that they had the life jackets on. We're at high flows, which means it's bringing lots of debris down. Um, they're not safe to be on at this time. If you're not experienced at all, uh, I advise not going on the rivers at all. All right, so according to Emma Hempworth, one of those who was rescued today, she says she is experienced and today went south after an anchor on the kayak was caught in a branch and from there things just went into a domino effect of bad. All right, uh, her husband did try to help. Two of the kayaks stayed upright. We saw them recovered and she did want to thank the DNR, her husband, everybody who helped get them out. I think the bottom line here uh, really is that it doesn't take much. No matter how experienced you are, things can go south and we're very lucky to have an airboat and people that know how to respond quick, Janae. Yeah, close call this afternoon for sure. Thanks a lot, Elias.